Can't say good morning. Good afternoon, yeah, man, behind yeah, the scenes. Good afternoon. We're going to put some of this uh, beautiful case equipment back to work today. Yeah. Let's that's good. do it. All right. You want to tell everybody what's on the agenda today? Oh, after a good meal. I don't know, a couch? <laughs> no. I ain't getting close, am I? No. All right. So, we're going to continue where we left off. Don't act so excited about it. Actually, I am getting excited because I kind of see daylight at the end of the tunnel. It is. So. It is picking up five. It's almost the tunnel. So, all right. We are back. We had the case folks down today and uh, went through the 1650. Got a little, little time on it. That thing's awesome. Hopefully, more to come in that later in the video. But... You're back on the 550 because we need to pack yep. some pipe and get it laid. Hopefully, hopefully the good run here this afternoon, we can get the majority of our pipe laid and start uh, mm -hmm. start going. You think there's any water coming out that big pipe yet? Well, Chris farms this field, so I'm going to say there's water down there somewhere. <laughs> I got an idea. Once you get the forks back on that thing, let's yeah. get rolling. Let's do it. Give you guys a little update on what we did yesterday. There's a little layer of sand, which is about six inches below the top of the pipe on both sides where we got some water seeping out. And it is actually seeping through the joints, through our filter cloth into the pipe, which is exactly what we wanted to do. You guys can see up here on the end, it's uh, extremely wet. You got water running as well. We have got water running out the end of the pipe down there already, which is absolutely insane. I promise I'll show you guys that in a little bit, but Aaron's packing pipe. We need to keep on a digging and uh, try to get these set so we can get this filled in before our next big, next big rain event. But so far, man, this project is uh, working out very nice. Look at all that water and mud that is built up behind the machine. Ain't that crazy? <clears throat> There's water everywhere. Man, what an absolutely sloppy, nasty, muddy mess. It'd be nice if we finally got this tile in here, get this dried up a little bit. The good news is this type of dirt, we go to plow tile if we get that far. Should be some uh, really good, really good material to do some plowing in, that's for sure. Got the two DMG system set up. Keep this right on grade up through here. Aaron's getting some pipes packed over. We're gonna get us some pipes laid. Man, behind the scenes, is it bad that all I can think about is how much fun it's going to be to backfill this with a new dozer and how much fun it's not to set this with old Tracos? <laughs> uh, Case has kind of got us spoiled right yeah, now. Yeah, they do. Pretty nice. Equipment. But uh, I say we, uh, I say we go time lapse style, time lapse style, and slam some pipe in the ground. What yeah. do you think? Let's do it. Let's do it.
I might say this is like another uh, shop project. Yeah, We're sure still is. working and the sun's going yeah, down. Yeah, it's going down. We had to resort to Bubba Dump the whole pipe because yeah. somebody ran the DL550 out of fuel. Jeff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're blaming that on somebody just else. Just two more. Just two more. <laughs> How many times did we say just two yeah, more? Yeah. If only said. Hey, if, if we wouldn't have had a little hiccup here, if you wouldn't have busted that one to pieces. I think that was. And you broke that one. I think it was we'd busted have last. Plenty. Hey, we're doing pretty good now breaking pipe. Yeah, yeah, but, we are. All right, we have finally made it. We are down to the what we're gonna believe is the last pipe. This is where our catch basin is gonna go. Yep. And uh, we'll eventually switch over to the other side. Other size pipe, so all right, you ready to get this one set? I'm just glad that you admitted that you had to rely on me. Yeah, yeah it wasn't on video. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, not on video. Yeah, <laughs> not on video. It didn't I'm happen. relying on you. I'm relying on the other 120. <laughs> all right, you ready? This pipe hook, this whole system. We've just been slow and steady, and man, it has worked absolutely awesome. Going down! Look at that! The last one fit the best out of all of them. Yeah. That is a thing of beauty. All right, before we call it quits for the evening, I'm going to go ahead down through here and get all these pipes locked in. Make sure our filter cloths don't get blown off throughout the night. We might go ahead and cut the water over into it. Oh, it's good to go. We kind of do these in sections and then we can go back and crawling through the pipe just to kind of make sure we didn't do anything crazy. Locking them in before we go full commit on uh, full commit on covering them up. it is getting dark on me fast but we uh we've got everything kind of filled in and covered up here i'm gonna cut this ditch over real quick here at the end of the day where we kind of get it started in on uh dry it up and in the morning it'll give us a pretty good idea of how the old uh, pipe is working i guess hopefully tomorrow morning there's uh water coming out the other end that would be Ideal. I have a second thoughts about cutting this over. Why? Well, because, because next phase is to continue on with a different size pipe up through there. And if we leave out water over there, there's less chance it's gonna bother us. Yeah, I know. You know, I say yeah, I know. But we come here tomorrow, it's gonna be full 
the water. You want to cut it over anyways? I just want to cut it over <laughs> <know> anyways. You. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one again. The only thing is, it's like most of this water when we were first down here, there's probably four more inches of water there. Yeah, it's drained out. So I'm yeah, I think it's, it's just there. soaked in the ground and bled through over here. <laughs> yeah. That's what happened, but yeah. Yeah, I'd really like to see water going in. All right, well, let me cut it over there. Yeah, I say we just go ahead and cut it in. Oh, you gotta see that. Them lights are on, so Michelle's getting kind of pouty. Michelle don't like working in the dark, but uh, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, get things wrapped up. Yeah, very true. If not, it's something you did, not me. <laughs> All right, let's call it. All right. We'll check that out in the morning. Hey, look at this. You got lights on. You don't like doing this. <laughs> hey, good morning. Good morning. The sun's up. The sun's up. This is my kind of working weather here. Water's running. I don't like those light thingies. <laughs> but check this out. The water is running very nicely into the pipe hopefully you guys can see that everybody wants to see the water running but it is definitely going running into the pipe you guys see it right there in the pipe she goes now the question is is it coming out the other end let's go find out all right moment of truth all of our hard work worth it we actually took a spotlight yesterday and shined down that pipe <laughs> it's uh even without a pipe laser it's straight enough you can see all the way through which is pretty impressive for close to 800 feet of uh pipe and our grade looked our grade and our pipe alignment for what we could see looked really good the water was flowing nice through the pipes and uh no major offsets or anything like that so well that being said we should have water coming out the end of this thing look at that there she is flowing absolutely beautifully that is awesome That is exactly, exactly what we hope to see this morning. So, all right, let's go back up to the other end and uh, get a plan on, get a plan on what our plan is. All right, man, behind the scenes. All right. Here's what I'm thinking. As much as it's killing me to not get on that brand new dozer and push this hole shut. Yep. I think our time's gonna be better spent this morning laying pipe. Laying pipe. So, Catch basin number one's here. We're gonna switch over from 36 inch pipe to 24 inch pipe. And we're basically gonna run up to that. I don't know if you guys can see that pink ribbon or flag up there. Then we're gonna have another catch basin. So I say we hammer down until I get some pipe in the ground. Yeah. And uh, the rain comes in. before the rain comes in, because I don't know if you guys noticed, but the sun's already left and the rain is a coming. So yeah. let's, get, uh, let's get set up and go at it. Well, we are officially back to digging this ground right here obviously we're not near as deep in the ground it's a lot better clay it's holding up pretty good so Aaron's gonna hop on the 550 and start getting us some pipe packed in here we got the two dmg grade control system set up on the old 210 here we're gonna 
probably was a little bit digging. I've got to where I've uh, figured this system out. I trust it pretty good, but I still go out there and check myself every couple. I don't know, 30, 40 feet, just to make sure we're not got anything goofy going on, but seems to be working pretty good. I like it. Just gotta keep my piles off down. Enough that the laser will shoot over top of them because I don't want to put the spoils on the other side because then they'll be in the way of air laying the pipe out. And that will be super inconvenient, my friends. He's gonna push it to the limit. He's doubling down on the small pipe. I think that's about all she wants there, bud. I think the uh, machine is speed. I up there, but the bed's are just right there. You made it. That's all that matters. Yeah. What do the pumps look like? I know the machine ain't made. They just don't want to mess them pumps up. They look good, you got about three inches to spare. <laughs> we were talking yesterday, last night I didn't video y'all very well, but we hauled one load of pipe down here with Bubba Dub. Just drive across that field one time and start pumping the ground pretty bad so i couldn't imagine what it'd be like if we were hauling all those over here with the loader but we're off the machine we'll check our grade here real quick getting a little bit a little bit low we'll throw a little bit in there it's not far off but we're we're pretty doggone close got about a hundred feet dug here. Aaron's got a few pipes dug over or brought over to us. I think when we get too far ahead of ourselves, we're going to jump down there. We'll jump back in the old 120, see if we can get a few, a few pipes laid and see how this is going to go. I got a crazy radical plan. Yeah. What if we take the jig, set the first couple pipes, once we get past this pile of dirt, just grab them bucket thumb style. These, so these are smaller pipes. So. Good with that. A good bet for dinner. Yeah, that'd be. You uh, know, um, I say you're gonna before the day's over, you'll bust two. Oh, I won't bust any. You don't have a gentle finesse touch. Oh, to you. oh it's me and the one twenty. One twenty. One twenty. Yeah, I feel sorry for that equipment when you get on it. So, uh, 
Yeah, I think we need to do it. Make a bed on it. It'd save uh, save you a whole lot of packing it, or it, stepping. Stepping. Yeah. We're gonna have to set the first couple with a jig though, because uh, there's a dirt pile in my way, and I don't have a little rotator thing. So I guess if you hit a tilt rotator, you could do it. I don't have a tilt rotator, yeah. but I got a jig. <laughs> so, so we need right. a jig. If it don't work, we know what does work. Yes. Let's set some pipes. This is a huge pipe, but it still looks so small compared to what we were setting. <laughs> I'm thinking right there, I like at least 10 or 15 feet between the two. Alright, then you just gotta cut everything out. Yeah. Ten foot. You want to try to hold the center? Okay, so come back up on it. Try to get the center down there. Alright, you need to go out away from you a little bit. Alright, now come down a little bit. Well, last one went good. Yeah. I said we uh, set this one with the jig and then we tried the thumb experiment. All right. All right. It'll save you a lot of steps to be a little faster, but if it don't work, it don't work. Yep. You buying lunch today? I'm buying lunch either way, so I don't know who you're <laughs> for. That's part of having a star employee. <laughs> yeah. Not just anybody can take me out for dinner. <laughs>
drop out with us, we'll lock it in, and I can move that other end. All right, we're gonna go back to a modified plan A. Yeah. <laughs> so that worked, but it also caused some other problems, especially for you. It made it a yeah. lot easier on me, but I'm not sure it yeah. made it easier on no, you. No, no, I, I see it a lot rougher on me. Because with the jig, you can stay on top of the pipe and I actually have to get in and out of the ditch. Yeah. Which is nice. Which is nice. So we still need the bucket to backfill around those, but these pipe are lighter, so we should be able to lift them with the bucket on. Yes. And, and we can, got the and we both got the best of both worlds. <laughs> yeah. You ready? I'm ready. Hey, we got a lot of these set. We'll figure it out for yeah. you. Yeah. With. <laughs> no kidding. combination here how this is going to work out best especially if there just being two of us this uh system here works pretty good get the pipe down there get it set we get the joint covered up hook on the jig come back out of the hole seems to work pretty good saves there a whole lot of climbing in and out of the hole as well coming in our trench it don't take long at all there's so much water in this ground the whole purpose of this pipe is trying to help get some of it out here it just has nowhere to go it just sits here and soaks in but it took us about six pipes to get her figured out but i think aaron and i got our system going pretty good easy on both of us seems to be working really well he took off with the 550 to get some more pipe i'm gonna cut some more filter cloth and we're gonna hammer down try to get some footage in here all right, so this part of the operation seems to be our weak link and our hold up right now. We talked about maybe loading these on Bubba Dub, but it's a whole lot of load and unload the way Aaron was moving them the first time. They roll and bang into each other. We broke one. So uh, we're going to try this method. Take advantage of the uh, massive machine we have. Come on off the pile and then you can lower it down. You're good. Just back on up off the pile and you can lower them down and shove that other one up on there.
But if we can get two at a time, that doubles our production. As long as you don't get, as long as you don't get two long ones at the same time, you're gonna be fine. Oh We got a good section of ditch dug. Aaron's got our pipes placed. Let's just knock this out. Wemo, well, check that out guys. That is uh, another pretty good little section done. It is going, <laughs> I mean, Aaron kind of got it figured out. It is going well. The thing we're fighting with these pipes is they're not all straight. So we got to do a little bit of adjusting to make them work, but I'll show you here in a little bit. It's already got water coming out the other end. We're about two thirds of the way there. Kind of running short on time. So we're going to do this one the super easy way. We're going to go, uh, go the magic route. Wham! There you have it, guys. Magic. They're all in. I really, really, really wish it was that easy in real life setting all these. We've been making uh, pretty good time down through here. We are down to the last one in this run. Let me kind of show you what we're uh, what we're thinking up here. So we're getting ready to intercept this ditch. This is where our second catch basin will be so that's actually my property corner stake right there if you guys can see it my property comes up and goes that way so we'll have a catch basin right here we can drop some tiles in we need to go up that way catch a few things and we're actually going to take off that way with the clay tile again and uh, eliminate this entire ditch but to make that happen we are one pipe short so we're going to get this last pipe set and then we'll go, probably go ahead and cut that ditch over into here so all that can start dry it up Whew. it's a long ways from the creek we made it a good ways but we still got a long ways to go 
Got some water dammed up in the ditch here. I'm hoping I can get this cut out of here without flooding our trench, because that would not be good on the last one. guys remember down here last year we did all the clearing this is about the location where I fell in the big old stump hole and thought I lost the 210 all right Should give us enough room to get that last pipe set, then we'll cut out a little base in here. Oh man, there's a lot of pipe. You ready to turn some water loose into this one and see yeah. what happens? I'm ready. We were sitting here debating. The creek's a long ways that way. Yeah. <laughs> we have to go to that telephone pole, which they can't see on the other side of the excavator. So I'm thinking we're close to halfway. Done. We've come a long ways and we've got a long ways to go. Yeah. And all I want to do is play on my new bulldozer. Yeah. <laughs> you won't let me. Uh, no, it don't look like you're going to get a chance. I'd uh, say somebody else is going to get it. I know. I think Jerry's going to cover it. I think Jerry's going to come high jacket. All right. Yep. Let's put some water down this pot and hope it works. All right. Bless you. Yeah. Like this is a telltale sign that uh, we're having some success. Yeah. Yeah, all your all your water in here is going down. Now you got mud. Hopefully eventually it'll be dry. Yeah. <laughs> come over here. Still got a little bit of water. It's just starting to come through one pipe and head down the other. I think this whole system man oh man it's been a lot of work but i think it's gonna work good aaron yeah look at that water's just starting to run out of the pipe right there you guys see it you know we keep talking about how we're gonna need some dirt for those dams we can probably get several loads out digging out these uh, catch basins yeah it's gotta come out here anyways yep but long story short though i think that's gonna be a wrap on this one mm-hmm it's been two long days of setting pipe yep Phase one, phase two, now we're on phase three. So, we gotta start phase three. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be dreaming about clay pipe. <laughs> All right, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give a big old thumbs up. I wanna make sure you don't miss out on the rest of this crazy project. I'd consider subscribing, so I'll catch you on the next one. We got a long ways to go to get that pole yet. Yeah, yeah we do. Sun's out yet. <laughs>